They could be anywhere. You're a nimble one, I'll keep... You're a nimble one, I'll give you that. Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Stop, or I'll kneecap you. Done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck. Return myself a governor, and with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir.
fine night, don't you think? God, sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most? How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... Have you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor's going on about. He said it were like a device. I could follow people around and show where they were. <laughs> A ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. And imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate... ...privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up, Bonnet. There's a sage in that house I must speak to, in private. sea asesinado Quiero hablar contigo. ¡Eh! ¡Espera un momento! No escaparás fácilmente. ¡Vuelve ahora mismo! ¡Oh! ¡Basta! 
Hasta allá. What is your true name, Rogue? It's a. Uh... Captain Pissoff. Rien que pauvre Pison. Where is this sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure fleet. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Walpole. Despicable display. This toss pot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father! Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Unlucky lad. The seas are uneasy today. Hurricane coming! Hurricane? Jesus. Many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free, and they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brigand in fleet. I'll make my way to it.
There's a catch to this favor. You're sailing with me. I follow you to hell for this, mate. We're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. We're going topside. 
be ready. Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks true. You lot weigh anger. As for the rest, half on the foremast and half at the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. Keep watch on those galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. They won't. Far too slow for this weather. Fire! Give the orders to Cloud got a square. Bark any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Fire! Careful, Captain. She fires many volleys. Enemy firing. That one did some damage. Fire! Look out, man. I see it. Looking good. Steady as she goes, man. Watch on those galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. Far too slow for this weather. On your mark, Captain! Fire! Bark any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. Spot 
out, man! Stay away! It's not looking good. Steady as she goes, man! Not far now, Captain. By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. You ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! We're taking this one home! Made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, that shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. Despite a few items in the hold earlier, powder and a few pistols, I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. The one you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning. 
and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder, and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotten I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armament when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. <laughs>